this is David. In the last video, we showed you how to use Azure Machine Learning Studio to create a predictive model for predicting income based on various factors provided in census data. And we actually tried that, created two different models using two different algorithms in here. If, you've, um, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead back and watch it now. Now what I'm going to show you is how to take that predictive model and actually deploy a web service so other users can take advantage of that. They can call a simple web service, provide some information about uh, the factors that go into income, and have it return information about the probability of whether a person will earn over $50,000 or under $50,000, which is what our model shows. Now remember we did two different algorithms here. So we'll just pick one of them. They, they happen to have really similar results. And I'll select that one here in the designer. And I'll select set up web services. And I want to pick predictive web service. I'll click this. It actually creates a new experiment with inputs and outputs for our web service. And now I'll click run. And this will take a while. So while it's going, I'm going to pause the video and come back to it when it's done. Okay, this finished running. It took a couple of minutes before it created the web service. And now what I want to do is I want to deploy that web service. And I can deploy it directly to Microsoft Azure by clicking this Deploy Web Service button. And here it actually appears underneath this node called web services. Here's the information. If you want to call this web service, the documentation here is under request response. And right here you see that to call it, you simply post to this URL. And here's some information about the headers. Here's the body you would send. It's a JSON file with all of the inputs that we specified in here. Um, in fact, if you look closely, you'll notice that there's actually uh, an array of inputs. So we can send multiple files there, or multiple persons there. And this is what the response will look like, also coming back in JSON. Here's a description of each one of those fields, whether they're strings or numeric, uh, and the outputs as well. And then down here is how you could actually call it from C Sharp code or Python or R. So if you wanted to build your own application, this happens to be a console application. You can just copy that code, paste it into Visual Studio or your IDE, and compile it and run it. If I go back here, there's actually a test console. I can click on that. And in the test console, I can add information for each of those inputs. And to make it easy, if I click this Enable button, it'll actually fill out that information with some of the test data, that 30% that I held back, and use that. And once I have it all filled out, either from this test data or from my own data, I can click Test Request Response. It'll call the web service and come back with this output information. The parts that I'm really concerned about are this is the income for the um, that was in the data, and this is the predicted output. I also have the opportunity to do a, a bulk call of this web service. If I want to send it lots and lots of data. I can upload a CSV file. The documentation for that is right here. And if I look at this, then there's actually multiple calls for this. One, I need to submit an execution, a batch execution job, which I'll post to this URL right here. And in here, I will specify in the body, I will specify the location of a CSV file that I'm going to upload here. Once I've submitted that, then I want to start it. And that's another URL. Go to this. This will actually start that job. And if I get, assuming I get a 200 response back, meaning it, was, it started successfully, it doesn't tell me when it's finished. I have to call another web service to know whether it's finished right here. I'll send, I'll send a get to this URL and it will return a response that will say that it's either not started, running, failed, canceled, or finished. So I'm looking for the, a response of four 
in the payload here, this results right here. It will be 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. So that's how I do a, a batch job. And if you wanted to call that from C Sharp, here's code to do that from Python and from R. There's sample code for doing that as well. So in this video, I have shown you how to take an existing Azure ML Studio trained model and turn that into a web service and deploy that web service and call that using either a test harness or code in C Sharp, R, or Python. This is David. Thank you for watching. Thank you.